Good morning. Welcome to another time of KAC Radio Devotional for Married Couples, 13th of August. And the topic we are looking at this morning is titled, Wives, Do This, Be Joyful. One of the things wives need to know is the importance of maintaining their joy. It is something they have to do constantly. It's so important that not doing it may cause a knock in the engine of their lives and ministry, like not servicing a car, for example. Women and wives could be overwhelmed by so many duties of motherhood. The cooking, making the house look tidy, getting their children ready for school, going to the grocery to buy household stores, planning the food timetable, and many much more. It could really be overwhelming for young mothers and mothers with young children. Coupled with all these, is trying to also take care of guests whenever they show up and maintain a cheerful countenance. Your joy is like your lifeline. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. It says, For this day is holy unto our Lord, neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord becomes strength for you to carry out all your tasks, no matter how overwhelming they may seem to be. With the joy of the Lord, you don't have time to entertain negative, depressive thoughts that are meant to keep you perpetually down. In 1 Peter 1.8, we are told that this joy of the Lord is unspeakable and full of glory. In 1 Peter 1.8, it says, Whom have you not seen, ye love, in whom, though now you see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory. This joy is not just empty, but it is full of glory. That glory means heaviness of God, prosperity and abundance. And this joy is unspeakable. When you are getting ready to be blessed, you release this joy. This joy is unspeakable, but you can release it through your singing, dancing, laughing, jumping, and shouting. Don't let anything get you down. While you are working, uh, while you are working in the kitchen at the laundry, keep your joy up. There's nothing like a happy mother or woman in the house. Don't let your house be tensed again. Each time you allow depression, you drive away the Holy Spirit. When you are joyful, despite whatever is going on, you are releasing the glory. In Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 18, it says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Verse 19 says, The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like the iron's feet, and he will make me to walk upon my high places. Learn to rejoice. Make it a habit. Rejoice evermore. Count it all joy, no matter what happens. Count it as something to be joyful about. Make your home a place of joy. Don't permit depression or moodiness in your home. God bless your marriage. Meditation for the day, 1 Peter 1 8. Whom have you not seen ye love, in whom do now you seem not yet believing, you rejoice with unspeakable joy and full of glory. Prayer for the day, number one, I render powerless the spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. I render powerless, I render powerless the spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. Number two, I speak confusion into every plan of the enemy to steal my joy in the name of Jesus. I speak confusion into the plan of the enemy to steal my joy in Jesus' name. Number three, Lord, help me to be joyful. Help me to be joyful every time. Lord, help me to be joyful every time. Take some time and pray in the Holy Ghost those prayer points. Confession for the day. I am a joyful being. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I will yet rejoice. I will not be gloomy or sad. I refuse the spirit of depression. I cast out every suicidal thought. I exude joy now and always. In all I do, I do it with joy in the name of Jesus. Even though the joy is unspeakable, it is laughable. So I laugh out loud. You go ahead and laugh out loud. I rejoice before the God of my salvation. The devil has lost it over my family. I'm happy all through my marriage. My strength will not be dissipated. 
The devil will not have the last say in my marriage in the name of Jesus. Action plan for the day. Play music while you're in the kitchen, doing your laundry or general house chores. And also chronological Bible reading for today. Jeremiah 31, 15 to 40. Jeremiah 49 to 51. God bless you. Thanks for joining us this morning. See you tomorrow once again. My name is Jonathan Studio. Be blessed.